Okay, so yeah, the subesophageal ganglion is present below the esophagus, so it is called sub. Supra is above the esophagus. That's that's act like a brain. Then there is a ventral double nerve cord. This what you see is ventral. Ventral double nerve cord. Ventral double nerve cord. Okay. Now, in the thorax, the supraesophageal ganglia give rise to nerves for the head part, like eye, lab, labral, antennae. So it giving nerve towards them. Then there is a sub uh, subesophageal ganglia give rise to mouth parts. Nerves to mouth parts. Thorax, you know, it gives wings uh, to the wings and the legs. And the rest, all uh, nerves are given to the different parts of the body. So basically, ganglia, what's the number of ganglia? Ganglion is nine total. But three is present in thorax. And six in abdomen. Is it clear? Please understand and then write quickly. Take your time, understand and write. Done? Okay, next. So, the head holds the head. Remember, very important question, and this question was asked, okay, in the uh, one of the paper. The nervous system is spread all over the body of cockroach. The head holds a bit of nervous system, okay, while the rest, while the rest is present in the body. So, that's the reason whenever the cockroach has head is cut off, it can leave for a, a week more. Are you getting the point? After being cut or after the head is being cut, it can still live for as long for a week because most of the head content is present in the In the head, uh, most of the content of the nervous system is present in the other other part of the body, not in the head. Is it clear? Any difficulties?
sensory the next part is sensory what fraction komal what is the fraction And the seventh segment and the sixth ganglia are in the same place. No, Vernon, listen. Seventh, uh, six segment have no ganglia. If you see here, this is a six segment, right? Six segment. There is no ganglia in the six segment. But when we count this ganglia, one, two, three, four, five, and this is a six ganglia. Six ganglia is present in seventh segment. Are you understanding, Vernon? See only, uh, okay, only this sub above the esophagus, above the esophagus, that is sub supra esophageal ganglia is present in the nervous system. Komal, rest everything is present in the other part of the body. Next, sensory. Is there any new student here today in the class? Is there any new student in the class? Hayden. And then just one. Prachi. Okay. Crash 20. Crash 20, what's your name? You were there for the crash course? Okay, round five students are new here. See, we are doing uh, structural morphology that is cockroach. Okay, we are in the verge of finishing the cockroach. So, do not have to worry, we'll cover it up as we get time later. Okay, try to understand today's class. If you have any difficulties, please stop me and ask. Okay. Sensory organs. Now, sensory organs in the cockroach, write down the sense organ of cockroach are antennae, eyes, maxillary pulp, Axillary palp, anal sarsi, the most important sense organ in cockroach are a pair of compound I. Each I consists of about 2000 visual elements or units called omatidia. We studied this, right? Omatidia. And these are transparent and hexagonal. You know the shape of the hexagonal? Hexagonal. 
and it shows mosaic image it shows mosaic vision it shows mosaic vision Yeah, I'll tell you what is mosaic vision. Have you all done with the writing? Okay. See, I as I said, uh, if this is an eye of a cockroach, okay, if this is the eye of a cockroach, this eye of the cockroach has what? Many units. It's made up of many units. How many units? Two thousand units. Imagine eye of a cockroach having two thousand of units, and this unit is called omatidia. Okay. Now, if the cockroach is seeing a person, it is not seen on the one unit. Like you know, mosaic. You have seen how you make a mosaic of a picture. Same way, different parts are present in different uh, boxes. And that gives a complete vision, mosaic. Are you understanding? You have played the game mosaic, where you have to arrange the uh, forms according to the to make a complete picture. Same way, if it's looking at someone, each of the parts are present on a different omatidia. That is called mosaic vision. Okay, done. Good. Just go through it quickly, and let me know if you have any difficulties there. Okay. Reproduction. Cockroach is unisexual or bisexual? Unisexual or bisexual? Very good. Unisexual. 
not bi they are unisexual bi means what what is the difference between unisexual and bisexual unisexual means the male is separate female is separate whereas bisexual means you have both male and female in one one organism is it clear and exhibit did you got the point unisexual and bisexual and exhibit sexual dimorphism exhibit sexual dimorphism the female differ from male tell me how does a female differ from male you know the answers female differ from the male in having one is anal style very good in having a short and broad abdomen because there is a overlap right at the seventh seventh is overlap so there is broad and short abdomen and by absence of absence of anal style and by the absence of anal styles so this is how it differs now let us discuss about the male reproductive system
please draw this. Come on, let's other do it. Until then, if people revise.
Okay, next. Now listen to me. Testis. A testis. We're talking about. We're discussing about the male reproductive system. Testis is present from fourth segment to sixth segment. Important question. Okay. And each testis is formed of three to four lobes. In which sperms are produced? Where are the testes? Where are the sperms produced in the testes? Where are the testes located? Four to six segment. How many lobes? Three to four lobes. Testes where the sperms are formed. The testes continue into vasa deferens. What does the vasa deferens do? Vasa deferens carries the sperm from the testes. And open into ejaculatory duct. This is the ejaculatory duct. The vasa deferens goes and meets the ejaculatory duct through seminal vesicle. That is a gland. Next, where where this uh, ejaculatory duct opens? Ejaculatory ducts open outside by male genital pore situated ventral to the anus. Means ejaculatory duct opens through a male genital pore in the genital pouch. That is situated to the ventral to the anus. Next, seminal vesicles. What is seminal vesicles? Seminal vesicles are the small, numerous sac-like structures. You can see they are very small. Are they are present at the junction of vasa deferens and the ejaculatory duct meets? This is seminal vesicles. What's the function of the seminal vesicles? They help to organize the. Uh, they helps to organize sperms. Okay, I will we'll discuss how they do and everything. But remember, in the seminal vesicles, they get organized. Then there is a gland which is associated with the seminal vesicle. That uh, gland is called mushroom gland. This is A part of a mushroom. This is B part of a mushroom. So A plus B together is equal to mushroom gland. Important to know. Some iron vesicles associated with the gland, and that gland is called mushroom gland, which is having uh, utricular, which is having uh, two tubules, one is utricular brevoris and utricular majoris. Utricular majoris is a bigger one, utricular brevoris is a smaller one. Okay, and the secretion of the glands helps in the formation of or uh, nourishing the sperms. Next. Next, there is a phallic gland. Phallic gland is also called as you can write down conglobate gland. Conglobate gland. Phallic gland is also called as conglobate gland. What is conglobate gland? Conglobate gland is a. This is not here. Sorry, this is phallic duct, right? Here, conglobate gland. Can you see the screen? So mushroom gland is a combination of utricular brevoris and utricular majoris. So if you see the tubules of majoris are longer, where tubules of utricular brevoris is smaller. Then you have a phallic gland, which secretes. A uh, phallic gland has its own duct that is called phallic duct. This phallic duct pours its secretion and help in 
uh, forming the or packaging of sperm. I told you in the seminal vesicles there is a packaging of sperm. Also, uh, in the mushroom gland, also there is a packaging of sperm. The final package happens in the by the secretion of phallic gland. Is it clear? Now, this is all about the male reproductive part. Then there is a phallomere, which are chitinous plates associated. They are around three phallomeres. How many? Three. One is on the ventral. So they are irregular three shaped uh, phallomeres. What do they do? They lift or they helps during a copulation. They lift the female body to helps in copulation. Is it point clear to all? Is it clear? Screen is stuck. Wait a minute, let me re log in. Thank you. Can you all see the screen? All right. Now. Each testis formed three or four lobes, and each lobe divides or divided into many lobules, many lobules. And this lobules produces the sperm that produces sperm. I hope you understood this part. Next. Bassa deference. Bassa deferentia. Bassa deferentia. Or you can write down Vasa deference. Arises from each testis This open in an ejaculatory duct 
this open in an ejaculatory duct through seminal vesicle then ejaculated ducts open outside by male genital pore situated ventral to anus i've explained you everything if you have doubt you can ask me seminal vesicles are numerous sac like structure located located at the junction of vasa deferens and ejaculatory duct please write down this done <laughs> so any doubts in here <laughs> anyone any doubts the new people who have joined the new students any doubts did you understood until here The new students, please respond. Okay, Hayden, are you understanding? Yeah, Rubaika, check. Check the diagram. See, check the content with the diagram and try to understand. Swapnali, is it clear? Prachi, any doubt?
So bye guys, it's done. Okay, fine. So next, what does this do? Okay, write down and then I'll explain you what exactly it happens. The sperm, the sperm are stored in a seminal vesicles, seminal vesicle and are glued, means they are stick together. They glued together in the form of, in the form of bundles called spermatophores, spermatophores which are discharged during copulation. I'll tell you what exactly happens. Which are discharged during copulation. Okay, so what happens to some uh, sperms are stored in the seminal vesicles. Then what happened? They are glued like this. All are the sperms. Okay, here all the sperms are brought together and they are glued in a ball like structure. And this ball is called spermatophore. These are the sperm inside. Are you understanding what is spermatophore? And during copulation or during mating, this spermatophore from the male body is discharged into a female body. Understood? Yes, everyone. Okay, next. Next, a gland, a gland is associated with seminal vesicle called mushroom gland having two types of mushroom gland it's also called utricular gland having two types of tubules one is Utriculi majoris which are long or long, slender and peripheral and peripheral tubules. Okay, then you have utriculi brevoris. These are short, as I said, these are short ones, short tubules. 
forming forming bulk of mushroom gland means uh, utricular brevoris are many that forms the bulk of mushroom gland their secretions nourishes the sperm and forms their secretion both secretions okay mushroom gland secretion both of this utricula and majoris secretions nourishes the sperm and forms outer layer of forms outer layer of Is it clear? Any difficulties there? So you have a gland which is called mushroom gland, which is having utricular majoris and the bevoris. These two together secretions helps in the nourishment and also the formation of spermatophore. You know what is spermatophore? Spermatophore is a ball of sperm that is discharged into a female body. Please write down this. Okay, next. Phallic gland. Phallic gland. Phallic gland is a large, important question. They ask you which among them is large gland. So it's a large, multi lobed, leaf like gland present below. Ejaculatory duct. Its narrow ducts open into its narrow duct opens into the genital pouch by the side of male genital pore by the side of male genital Four. 
then? Then, phallic gland, auto function, phallic gland secretes outermost, outermost hard layer of spermatophore. I told you the hard layer spermatophore is a ball of sperm. So all these glands helps in the gluing or nourishing the forming the spermatophores which contains sperm. So there are three different layers in the spermatophores. So let us draw and understand that. This is sperm. Packed, okay, glue together. Then there is one more layer. Outer one is outer layer. Hard by secretion from phallic gland. Green one outer layer but smooth secretion from small tubules you know which are small tubules brevorous An inner layer secreted by long tubules. Please write down, understand, read and do let me know if you have any difficulties.
Yes, it is secreted. The outermost layer, hard, by hard layer, is secreted by the phallic gland. No, it just said outermost hard layer. Ma'am, why phallic duct is separated? Separate long duct because it doesn't meet. Roshi, it doesn't meet the uh, ejaculatory duct. The phallic gland is in the back side, so it doesn't meet the ejaculatory duct. But where seminal vesicle secretion, uh, mushroom gland secretion, everything comes on sperm, everything comes to the ejaculatory duct. But the phallic gland duct doesn't meet, phallic duct, phallic gland secretion doesn't meet the ejaculatory duct. That's the reason they have separate um, duct that comes. And then, once you get spermatophore with inner and outer spermato coating, the final coating is done by phallic duct, phallic uh, gland, uh, duct, uh, phallic gland secretion. The final coating is by phallic gland secretion. Is it clear? Any doubts to anyone there? Is there any doubt? Is it clear? What about the new people, the new students who have joined? Any doubts, the new students? Quickly tell me if you have doubts. Let me see how many of them. Navid Sheikh, is it clear? Prachi, is it clear? Kimaya, is it clear? Ria, Deepa, Samar, any doubts to anyone? Ma'am, why is sub esophageal ganglia is not included in a total number of ganglion present in cockroach? Is it that the segmented ganglia are separated, counted as nine? I didn't get your question. Question Deepa. Deepa, what is your question? Let me go back. Deepa has a question, let me. Hello, can you hear me? I'm sorry, I got disconnected. I don't know how. Yeah, any doubts to anyone? Okay. Yeah, thank you everyone for your... Excuse me, ma'am. Yes, tell me. Ma'am, uh, some students have 